we'll show you an example um, of here's a heart that's beating in an infant, okay? So you come in the world with a heart that's beautiful. I tell my clients and I tell people when I talk on social media, do you want to know what health is? Look at babies and kids because they have not yet acquired disease. And then I tell kids, hey, you want to see a disease, man? Look at your parents. That's where disease gradually increases in our lives, and we can see that. So we can take a look at infants when they arrive and get a, an idea of what health looks like, and that heart is just free. You just see beautiful myocardium. There's trace a little bit amount of fat in there, and that's probably fine. But here's what happens. You get uh, way too much of this fat, and it trans, um, uh, transitions from beneficial fat to inflammatory fat. And the inflammatory fat ends up causing disease within these, these arteries that are outside the heart. So there's the LAD. Your arteries for your heart reside on the outside. And a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that until I went to medical school. I always thought that the arteries would be inside the muscle. But they're on the outside, so they're useful uh, for the purposes of surgery. You know, you can do a transplant when these, these arteries become diseased. You can make a cut there, make a cut there, take a vein out of somebody's leg, saphenous vein, or maybe internal mammary artery or whatever host site that they want to grab and already do a transplant when somebody becomes really diseased. But um, I work with people now to open up these arteries and get rid of the disease by stopping the, the inflammation that's going on when this, this heart fat starts accumulating around, around those hearts. So, so this is a really big problem.